Well, hello, friends. Today is Friday, November 18th, and today we are going to talk about the power of being cringe and embracing your cringe and understanding that, like, just living your best life is the best gift that you can give to yourself. Got my hair done today, so I'm feeling extra spicy. And in the theme of being extremely cringy and extremely basic, as I always am, I'm gonna dig out my Christmas decorations and we are going to have a mini decorate with me in November because why not? Life's weird. Decorate. Anyways, so we will talk about what brings me joy and then I want to hear what brings you joy. Hi, welcome to Simply Intentional. My name is Katie. I'm on a journey to live my most fulfilling life and hopefully inspire others to do the same. Come along as I figure out my 30s one day at a time. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my adventures. So the first step, because I'm extra, hi Lily, Lily Beans. Um, I'm gonna have to change out my rug because this is not gonna be like a vibe with my Christmas decor. So we're gonna start with the rug, probably like quickly clean my floors, won't film that because like, ooh, thrilling. And then we will get caught up with the chaos of decorating my house. Okay, it's slight like chaos, will probably be chaos for two days, but I got my like winter time rug down. This is the rug I had at my old place, but that's good to go. I'm gonna have that being held down and now I'm gonna go dig out all my Christmas decorations. Okay, it is now Saturday morning. I did not do any decorating. Oh, that's bad lighting. I did not do any decorating yesterday. So we're gonna get started today. Hopefully this year will be slightly faster than last year because I've actually decorated this house before and I kind of know what I'm doing, but let's do a time check. And so granted, this will take longer because I'll be filming and doing other stuff, but it is 9.09. .09, so let's see how long this takes me. I'm hoping to be done by like three or four, but we will see. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling right. Stars are up This year, I put them up before I put the tree up Much better and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart But this year I wanna hang out with my friends and family Making it The tree is up and fluffed Didn't film that because I forgot And I've got some of my Nutcracker dudes out very excited. I'd like to say that this wasn't alcohol, but like... I'm getting to film stuff because I'm like really bad at doing this. I will acknowledge that it's very weird decorating when it's sunny, but I'm having a really good time and I've gotten a bunch of stuff put up. Check it out. Yeah, so I like to go hard for Christmas. I've only done the living room. All the other rooms still need to be decorated. It is time check. It's been two hours. So this is what we've accomplished in two hours. The tree's up. I like to put the, decorate that last, so. Oh, and I did get some of the stuff up over here. I do the kitchen next, I think. All right, so here we have the finished product. The tree looks great. I'm very excited about the fireplace. And then I've got all my nutcrackers. And this is decorated. Got the Santa statue. Lots of bows and things around. More bows. I put this around the kitchen doorway thing. I thought they looked cool. And my kitchen is decorated because I have no self-control. It's got like a winter themed bowl for my mixer. I've got some bows. I've got a little like 
hot chocolate area. I love these mugs. I got them at, or these cups. I got them at Garden Works. So that's what's in here. I did also decorate my bedroom because I have no self-control. Oh, hi. So I hope you enjoyed decorating with me this year. And I thought that my decorate with me video would be a great video to talk about the power of like embracing being cringy and leaning into those moments when you feel embarrassed or shy or anything like that. And this is something that like I've definitely struggled with over the last little bit, like with my content, with a lot of different other things where I'm hesitant to like post or share stuff. I know it doesn't seem like that if you do follow me on Instagram like or on TikTok. I post some like pretty unhinged content, but there is always a lot of moments of like second guessing yourself, doubting yourself, and that's something that I wanted to discuss more today. I think that a lot of people, like I know it's talked about online a time, and I've talked about it before on this channel, like the idea of imposter syndrome and the idea that like what you have to say isn't valuable and what you have to say isn't good enough, but it is. I promise you it is. I promise you that if there's something in your heart that you have this burning desire to share with the world, then it's worthy of sharing. And I know it can be really daunting. And for me, one thing I struggle with, it isn't so much the opinion of like people I don't know. What concerns me more that I get more hung up on is like the people that I do know. Like, oh, like what if my friends think this is like stupid? Or what if my friends think that it's awful? But like, the people that are really your friends, the people that really care about you, like, that's not what they're thinking. They're thinking, this is so cool. They're thinking, oh, like, I'm glad they're putting themselves out there. I'm happy to see whatever it is they're creating, whether it be art, music, self-indulgent YouTube videos, gym TikToks, whatever it is, right? And if someone's sitting there and they're judging you for what you've made, for what you're putting out there in the world, then that isn't your friend, right? And you need to sort of be able to, like, embrace it. <laughs> embrace the idea that you have valuable thoughts, that you have important things to say, because you do. I think the greatest disservice you can do yourself is, is doubting yourself, doubting your own value. You can definitely get lost in your own mind, I know I do, of being scared, of being unsure of yourself, and I think that the more people we have out there sharing the weird, cringy, embarrassing things that they want to do, I think the more we're going to realize that like everyone is embarrassing. We're all embarrassing, we're all weird sometimes, we all say things and later on are like, why did that come out of your mouth? I think if we can have more people living authentically, I think we're going to see happier people. We're going to see a world that's a little bit less dark, a little bit less awful, and a great way to stop doubting yourself and feel like you're not being who you're supposed to be is by just being yourself, right? The more authentic the art that you're creating is, whatever it is, right, the more authentic you can be in your own daily life, then I think the more in line with your own values and the more in line with yourself you're going to be and you will actually stop feeling that. I've struggled with anxiety quite a bit over like my adult life and I know I've definitely talked about it on this channel before. Um, and I've actually found that as I've gotten, like, in the last few years, I guess I'm getting a little bit older, I'm getting a little bit more confident, I'm getting a little bit more sure of myself, and, like, doing this helps, I love doing this. I find that I'm becoming less and less anxious. I'm less caught up in my own self, I'm less concerned about other people's opinions, because I know that as I've grown over the last several years, I'm living in a way that is more authentic to myself. I'm more in line with my core values, I've like done the work and discovered what those are, and I've really tried to build a life that works with that. And I've made some tough freaking calls lately <laughs> in terms of like getting to a place where I feel like I'm being the best version of myself and also supporting other people to be the best versions of them, their selves, you know? I, that's sort of my, as I say in a lot of my videos, my wish for this channel is just to have as many people as possible like getting out there, understanding who they are and, and what they want out of life and encouraging others around them to, you know, gently do the same. Never be the person that's like, I found in spiritual enlightenment, I'm so great, because you're not. Those are the worst people. Stay away from those people. <laughs> but if we can all just embrace, like, being who we authentically are and being part of a community that lifts each other up and supports each other, I think that we're going to see just great things come out of it. And one thing especially that is important to keep in mind is if you are putting yourself out there 
whatever way you want to do it, getting involved politically, online, making baking content, making an OnlyFans, whatever it is that you're doing, and there's someone out there that's dragging you down, that's talking about you to your, like, saying mean things to you, or especially talking about you to other people, they're often not able to put themselves out there. And a lot of the times when someone is commenting on what you're doing, you know, as long as you're not, like, hurting people if you're just out there making cringy content, and someone sort of try to drag you down for that, like, that says a lot more about them than it does about you. And a lot of the time it's just a simple reflection that they're aware that they could probably be a better version of themselves, that there's work that they could do and they're not. And so your ability to let certain things go and to be able to put yourself out there in that way is sort of a reflection to them of the way that they're kind of holding themselves back. And the way they react to that may be to just leave you hate comments or to talk about you to other people and talk about how embarrassing you are. And the reality is, is like, when you're 20 years old, yeah, that might make a difference. But at, you know, 35, which I'm looking at this, this coming year, when I hear someone talking about someone like that and disparaging the things that they're doing or the way that they're living their life, like, to me, that's, that's the person that's being embarrassing. That's the person that you really want to, like, maybe keep an eye on, maybe just, like, withdraw from a little bit if that's an option, you know? I guess this is all just a really long-winded way of saying if there's something that you want to do that you think is going to make you really happy, go out and do it. Who cares if you only have 26 followers on YouTube? Who cares, you know, if someone that you went to high school with thinks it's embarrassing that you're doing it? Like, okay, great. They think it's embarrassing. Are you enjoying it? Are you having a good time? Then good. Go for it. Like, I've been trying to build this content up. I've been having this channel for like a year and a half now and the Instagram and stuff like that. And is it like going amazingly? No, I wouldn't say like I've gone <laughs> where anywhere near like, you know, what you would think someone would be doing, but I'm also seeing incremental growth. I'm seeing improvement and the more you do something, the more you engage with whatever it is that you want to create, the more results you're going to see. And as you live more authentically, as you embrace being embarrassing and being cringy and doing the things that speak to your soul, you're going to draw in the kind of people that appreciate that, that appreciate what you have to offer. And that's going to be so important for you. I spent a long time when the first bit of like making content, of trying to make content that I thought that would be the most appealing to everyone, the kind of content that the most people are going to like, that was the least offensive. And I wasn't enjoying making it, so therefore it wasn't the best quality content. And it wasn't what I wanted to be doing. But now I have the ability to just sort of do whatever I want to do. I've realized that there's going to be people that think it's embarrassing. There's going to be people that don't like vlogs. And that's fine. I like them. I make the kind of content that I like watching. I like listening to people's, like, you know, mini vlogs, conversations like this. I like watching people's Instagram stories. So I make that kind of content on my stories because I want to see the kind of people that enjoy the content I enjoy because that's what I like making. And those are the kind of people that I think I can have interesting conversations with as time goes on over the internet. I'll have my blog post linked down below that's going to be like a slightly more coherent version of this ramble. Um, let me know down below if you guys have put up your Christmas decorations yet. Is it too early? I decorated on the 19th of November, so here we are. Um, but yeah, check me out on Instagram, check out the blog. If you like this content, please subscribe and please like the video. I really appreciate it and I will catch you guys in the next one.